okay here you see uh, pa1 portion we are completed and we are going to start the pa2 portion a pa2 portion included chapter number 5 chapter number 6 chapter number 7 so i want to start the chapter number 7 it is related to the chapter number 3 we already completed chapter 3 in that one i introduced some graphical methods it will be used here also is a relation there is a some relation between third and seventh chapter clear to you here chapter 7 coordinate geometry clear to you here coordinate means two axis i mean you know that one coordinate x coordinate is called abscissa y coordinate is called ordinate related this coordinate plane is called coordinate geometry i will give the clear definition to you you see here this is coordinate geometry definition coordinate geometry coordinate geometry is the study of geometry using a coordinate system i mean quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 quadrant 4 including of this we are going to plot the graphs in chapter number 3 already we plot the points to get the different types of uh, graphs okay here what is the importance of this chapter other than the the third chapter here see i i given different uh, what what is the use of the chapter also i will explain here pan by pan here i will given as note c first one by using coordinate geometry it is possible to find the distance between two points after plot the point on the graph also we can find the distance between two points here we are find the distance between two points by using distance formula so i will introduce the formula here and i will derive the formula also for you this is okay second one dividing two lines in m is to n ratio i mean one line is there other line will intersect this point at some point p then that p point divide this line in the ratio m is to n that is the second point in this chapter third is finding the midpoint of a line if there is a line if there is a line two points are there i mean line segment a and b points also given we can find the midpoint by measuring we can find the midpoint through the graph here there is a formula here in the chapter mainly we are finding the solutions by using the formulas so i will give the formula afterwards for this also i mean third calculate the area of triangle in the cartesian plane generally we are calculating the area after plotting the points on the graph by using the formula the area of triangle equal to half into base into height if the triangle formed on the basis of x axis we will count down the base square units and the altitude then we will keep in the formula we will get the answer now here we are not plotting any points on the graph paper just we are using the formula to find the area of triangle by given coordinates the coordinates will be given to you points will be given a b c clearly given so point uh, the formula also uh, will be clear formula is there so here important points are by using this chapter coordinate geometry we can find the distance between two points we can find the midpoint of the given line segment we can um, find the ratio m is to n and we can calculate the area of the triangle one more point is there also if three points are given we can find out given three points are collinear or not i will tell to you meaning of collinear you know already just i will remind you collinear means given points are on the same line then it is called collinear if it is not non-collinear i mean to form triangle the three three points never lies on the same line i mean if the three points are collinear it doesn't form a triangle so if it is collinear or not for that what we can use we can use the formula of triangle also or we can a a b c points are there a b plus b c equal to a c formula also we can use but that for better than the triangle formula is for you okay so now i am going to derive the formula of distance between the two points see here clearly you observe that i will take two points in the graph and through graph i will find out the formula let us now find the distance between any points p I mean I am taking P point is x1 comma y1 and Q point is x2 comma y2. You see in the graph P x1 y1 Q x2 y2 and graph is also clearly given O is the origin 
and y axis x axis is there. So, we are taking here draw PQ and QS perpendicular to the axis. A perpendicular from the point P on QS is drawn to meet it at the point T. You see in the graph that is perpendicular it is given. Now, it so formed QTP is a right angle triangle, right angle at T. Clear to you? And we need to find the QT value. We need to find the RS value. So, here clearly given you see. Then OR equal to X1 that is distance from the X and OS equal to X2 and RS equal to just subtraction of uh, X2 minus X1 equal to PT also. Here QS equal to Y2, ST equal to PR equal to Y1. So, QT equal to Y2 minus Y1. So, we are ready with the um, formulas of, uh, I mean, distance of QT and measurement of QT, measurement of RS, measurement of uh, PT. So, now we are going to find the distance PQ. I mean, it is a diagonal. If you observe, I told you to QTP is a right angle triangle. Then uh, PQ is the diagonal. We want to find the PQ only. So, we are using the Pythagoras theorem. So, I will remind you what is Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of the sum of the remaining two sides. That is mathematically we can write for this. You see here PQ square, that is diagonal square equal to PT square plus QT square. So, we know the measurements of PT and QT also. Above I mentioned that we are going to substitute in this one. See. PQ equal to. So, we want to find PQ not PQ square. To remove the square, we are squaring square root both the sides. So, PQ square becoming PQ equal to square root of uh, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. See, always the distance is positive. Here, you can use this formula like that x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square also right. Because minus is coming, square becomes positive. You, anyway, you can remember this. This is called particularly the name of this formula is distance formula. I mentioned a I circle here you see. So, note that this distance is always non-negative. We take only the positive square root. So, the distance between the point P x1 comma y1 q x2 comma y2 is pq equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square uh, which is called the distance formula. Further when uh, needs to find the distance between formula anywhere we are using this. It is very important here what happened if it is origin then directly we can write square root of x square plus y square you see ob. If it is one point is given as a remark, uh, if you are if you want to find the distance from the R's in direct, you can write x square x square plus y square, and uh, PQ distance is the as usual formula. You see, uh, what what is the importance of distance formula? If quadrilateral is there, four sides are there. They can ask which type of quadrilateral is this. So distance formula is very important. A B C D is a quadrilateral. How can you uh, how can you identify which type of quadrilateral is this? by finding the distance of all the sides. For example, A, B, C, D quadrilateral is there. You can find the distance A, B by using distance formula, B, C also, C, D also and A, D also. After finding all the sides, if all sides are equal, it is a square. If opposite sides are equal and uh, it is a uh, rectangle, Apo, uh, then diagonals are not equal, rhombus. Uh, diagonals are not equal, it is a rhombus. And uh, like that we can, if mid band is the same, then like the properties we can use to identify the types of quadrilateral. Uh, we can uh, refer the properties of the quadrilateral also. So, square is there, rectangle is there, rhombus is there, kite is there like that. Okay. So, it is very important formula and uh, mid band formula is also coming afterward. That is nothing is there. Uh, you just add average of the x coordinates, the comma, average of the y coordinates x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 will be give the midpoint of that one. When it comes then I will explain to you later. You see here I will try to explain one sum here. Now we are going to start the uh, chapter 7 coordinate system exercise 7.1. Here three questions are there I think and all are the same. You are going to find the distance between the given two points. Points are given you see find the distance between the following pair of points. The first question I am going to do here, distance between the two points, formula I am writing here directly, 
so square root of uh, x1 minus x2 all square plus y1 minus y2 all square therefore distance between these are the two given points in the question number one roman number one that is 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 is given by that is l equal to i mean distance formula above is given you see i am going to substitute the value of x1 x2 y1 y2 here x1 is 2 x2 is 4 y1 equal to 3 y2 equal to 1 so we are substituting here that is x1 minus x2 is 2 minus 4 plus y1 minus y2 is 3 minus 1 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 whole square is 4 plus 3 minus 1 becomes 2 2 square is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 square root of 8 if you make the LCM of the square root of 8, you will be get the 2 pairs. I mean 4 into 2. Square root of 4 becomes 2 square root. I mean 2 root 2. This is positive. And this is the distance between the point 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1. Like this we can find the distance of given any two points. This is only the formula to find out. See here and uh, third, third question here. 2 are there and 1 I completed. In the second question I given to you. Third, distance between the points given. I mean, another question I am explaining, try, trying to explain to you. You see here. Here, instead of numbers, you are given alphabets. Therefore, the distance between, we are going to find the distance between these points. What are those points? A comma B and minus A comma minus B is given. That is, we are substituting the values of X1, X2, Y1, Y2. That is, A minus of minus A whole square. Here, minus minus becomes plus A like that plus b minus of minus b whole square minus minus plus b i mean a plus a is 2a you see here a plus a whole square is 2a whole square b plus b is 2b whole square after open the bracket 2a whole square becomes 4a square plus 2b whole square is 4b square so here 4 is the common see i kept into the bracket 4 of bracket a square plus b square the square root of 4 comes out becomes 2 square root of 4 becomes 2 i mean a square plus b square under the root only now the distance between the a comma b and minus a comma minus b is clearly 2 square root of a square plus b square so here question number 1 2 is given homework to you question number 2 also the same model only you are going to find the distance between these two points right and here question number 3 if you if you try to understand the question number 3 and uh, determine the points 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 and minus 2 comma minus 1 are collinear i told you if you want to show the collinear you are going to use the formula i mean a b c are three points and b is on a b then a b plus b c equal to a c then we can easy to say these are collinear if a b plus b c equal to you are not getting a c it is not collinear it is non-collinear i mean the points are not on the same line so the points are clearly given you take first point is a second point is b uh, third point is c i mean first we are finding the a b a b equal to root 5 by using the distance formula b c equal to square root of 221 and c a equal to square root of 265 you see here and uh, a b clearly you see a b is uh, root 5 and uh, b c equal to root 221 and uh, a c equal to 265 and here by this we know that one a b plus b c is not equal to c a i mean these three points are not located on the same line so it is not collinear it is non-collinear okay thank you and you need to practice this type of questions many as possible as from practice book or anywhere not to worry to go very deeply and related ncrt book related sums only to practice from many years uh, only the questions based on the ncrt book only coming in the board exam don't take more tension and deeply go and uh, make difficulties that one okay thank you that